Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make good descriptive graphs for panel data. And uh, the data which is already opened in front of you is uh, panel data of 59 countries. You can see it from here and it is from 1995 to 2021. So this is a example data set. And what you can learn from here is that how to make good graphs. So first of all, we'll start with uh, univariate graph. So I will open one variable for uh, for example, there is uh, data of log of aggregate demand. This is one variable. So what we can do it here is that you can draw a graph for like if you can open graph, you can add a line chart and line chart for stacking cross sections. So what can, it will do is it will draw a line chart for each cross section. Okay, and because the cross sections are many, you can you should not add any excess borders because they will be too many. So we'll start with this. So it will show you like this. So this graph is not meaningful because the, you cannot add patterns because there's a break and there's only one point for each uh, year. So it will be understandable if you make it wider. But otherwise, if you go in the graph, you can change it to stack cross cross sections other than that that you can you can do individual cross sections like this it will make like this but it is still problematic if you have too many cross sections there are too many graphs here okay then other way is if you want to see the time series patterns what you can do is that you can go here and say to mine cross sections and then it will show in one so still it will be useful if there are fewer cross sections because the colors are not identifiable the the graphs that i shown earlier were only suitable if you have fewer cross sections and long enough time period so that you can have a pattern the examples that i shown were uh, for line and first three types then we can go towards mean and standard deviation bounds so what it does is for each cross section it will take a mean value and it will show you the trend of the data across uh, across time. So the, the, we can say that the mean value is calculated across all the cross sections. You can add standard deviations as uh, as boundaries, but it does not work very well if the data has very high standard deviation and more 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 clarified in terms that if the cross sections are too many and they have high variations, then the boundaries will be too big. This is a good, this is a way to uh, show a time series plot in a panel data. What other method is if the data has outliers or very different countries, you can use a median method, and then it will show you the plot. So this way you can uh, do a time series plots. Uh, what other thing that you can do is that if you can make a bar plot, and and those, so it will only work if you have fewer cross sections so that you can add a column chart for each cross section so or or univariate you can have a um, uh, box plot for each cross section like this for 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 each cross section so the, the it is what it is doing is that uh, for each year it is plotting the median and then box plot so that you can see the patterns changing and this way you can make a uh, individual plot further you can add a distribution plot so okay so stack across cross section so it will show you the distribution of the data if it is normal or not so it looks like there are a few outliers here so this way you can do univariate plots what now we can do is two variable plots so for that you need to make sure that you will select the depend independent variable first and then some other variable so for example i i select trade openness with it so open open as a uh, group now you have two variables what you can do as a graph so you can go in a view as a graph first of all you can do is you can make a scatter plot okay so scatter plot and and so it will show you the patterns so dependent variable will be here and independent will be here so you can do changes like if you go in a graph again and you can add more things like add a box plot across the borders it will show you the distribution of the data 
what you can further add is you can add fit line or regression line so you can see the pattern so it's a negative slope what further you can do is in this graph let's see you can uh, you can other add other things like panel options median across cross sections so you can do a relation a relationship okay so dependent variable here and independent variable here and it has plotted a median okay cross section so but the most commonly the used graph is this one that i already shown so you can relate the variables other things that you can use is you can relate the variables in time if you are doing the long panel data analysis you want to show how these variables are related in long run so what you can do is you can use the line you can add the box plot at the axis and then you can what you can do is you can add median plus quantiles and then you can go in frames and axis scaling you can move one of them to the right axis so LED is here and I can move the trade uh, I can move LED on the right axis and then overlap scales and then go down and legend and you can write the full names of the variables here okay so when I do OK, it will show a graph like this. So there are two time series plots generated from the panel data by taking medians across the cross sections. So now you can see the patterns how the trade openness is increasing first and then decreasing and then uh, the uh, aggregate demand is increasing. So this way you, you have a relationship pattern. But when you want to show this graph, you need to uh, understand that uh, the X's are not labeled. So when you need to present these graphs, you need to add labels for that. If you have completed the graph, you just press the freeze button. Okay. And when you freeze it, you can add text here. So I will add a title first. So it should be above center. So line plot of aggregate demand and trade openness. So this way there is a title on the top. If you want to add text on the left axis, so I will write it as uh, left rotated. So, aggregate demand like this. And if you want to add on the right hand side, so I will go here in the right rotated, then trade openness. So, this way you have labeled. And then you can just go in object, the object copy, and then paste it in your Word file. So, I hope uh, this video will help you to understand how to make. Uh, time series, uh, how to make plots in, in panel data. Thank you very much.